again, we're continuing our series on Vim, and today we're going to be looking at file name completion. Last week we looked at uh, auto-completing based on text that's in your current file, but let's say you want to uh, type out the name of a file on your hard drive for some sort of script or whatever reason, um, and you're, you know, you want to tab complete that. I say tab complete, it's not really tab complete. We auto-complete that. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in something like echo test and then we want to pipe that into a file and let's say the file is inside our temp folder so I can type temp and then I can hit control X so when I hit control X you can see that it gives different modes down here at the bottom right here and we're looking at F for file so now that I hit control X I can hit control F and it starts listing out files in my temp folder. And right there is the my test file, so we can choose that. Um, if I was to have the MRA typed and I hit Control X, Control F, it will autocomplete because it's the only one that starts with an M, a capital M in that directory. Uh, but let's say we were to slash uh, dev slash S. So we're looking at things that start with S in my uh, uh, device folder. I can hit Control X, Control F, and you can see all my different hard drives and other things starting with S. If I was to put SD, it's only going to list things that start with SD. If I do SDA, now it all completes anything with SDA, and of course I can pick them from the list and uh, have at it. So again, uh, last week we looked at using um, tab completion for, for words that were already in your document, uh, but you can tab complete any file in your, on your hard drive. And if you don't have a slash, for example, I'm already in my temp folder. So if I do capital M, control X, control F, it will automatically put in the name of the file in our current directory that starts with uh, whatever I had typed. So again, that's control X, control F uh, for file completion. Again, there's more functionality, but that's the basics of it. It's very useful when you're trying to, you know, type names of files on your hard drive, especially if it's a long path. So I thank you for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000 or through PayPal. There's links in the description uh, to filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K there. You can find the links for supporting me uh, and my work. And you can also search through all the videos on my site. And you can also go there and find a link to search through all my computer programming notes and open source projects that I've posted up online. I do thank you for watching. Please share, like, share, share, like, share, share it twice. That sounds good. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment. And again, in another week on Wednesday, we will be going over more Vim stuff. So I thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.